Welcome back to Movies with McLean. I'm Andrew McLean, and this is my weekly movie podcast where I talk all things uh, movies, movie news, I review movies, bring on guests, we talk movies. And uh, today, back for the first time in a very long time, you, you are here on our third episode. Tyler Evans, how are you doing? Good, I kind of miss my father, Michael Magnus, right now, but yeah, it's good to be back. Okay, um, yeah, I'm glad to have you back. And here for the first time, Jack Assessian, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited for this podcast. Yeah, it should be a good one. Um, this is episode 19, and today we're talking Marvel comic book movies. Uh, now, we already did a Marvel Cinematic Universe one, but this is the other Marvel movies. So this is the Fox and Sony Marvel. And then there have been a few other companies that have made Marvel movies, but we're just talking about Fox and Sony Marvel today. And there's actually no news because there just hasn't been any major news since the last time I recorded a podcast. So, um, if you saw our DC, uh, episode or our, um, MCU episode where we had a bracket that ranked the movies in order of Rotten Tomatoes scoring, we're doing the same thing today, but with the Fox and Sony Marvel movies. So we picked 16 movies. It's the 16 movies that are highest rated on Rotten Tomatoes of the, um, of the Fox and Sony Marvel movies. Uh, which is pretty much X-Men and Spider-Man and a few others. And th- we put those in a bracket, and we're each going to cast a vote on each matchup, and whichever gets the majority will move on, and we'll crown a winner of um, what is the greatest Marvel comic book movie of Fox and Sony. So we're just going to get right into that. And our first matchup, Spider-Man 2, the one seed, against the 16 seed Fantastic Four from 2005. Uh, Jack, you want to start us off, cast a vote on this one? Yeah, um, my vote is obviously going to be Spider-Man 2, because, uh, I didn't, I thought the, uh, actors for Fantastic Four, was it the first one or the second the one? The first one. Yeah, the actors for both were good, and especially Jessica Alba. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Spider-Man 2 was just overall a way better movie with Dr. Octopus, and, uh, like, uh, Tony, or Peter Parker's just, like, uh, the, like actor and uh, to- Tobey Maguire and everything was just like good about that movie. That was probably my favorite out of the three, but um, yeah, the Fantastic Four ones weren't that great, so I'm gonna have to go with the second one here. Yeah, I'm also taking uh, Spider-Man Two. I-, I mean, I'll talk more about why I like Spider-Man Two later, but like Fantastic Four movies suck. They have never made a good <laughs> Fantastic Four movie, and this one's not good. So. I'll I'll also go with Spider-Man 2. Tyler? I'm going to have to go with Spider-Man 2 also. I thought Fantastic Four was, I mean, all right to watch, but I thought they downplayed Doctor Doom a little bit, which was kind of sad because he's such a good villain normally. And uh, I just really like the Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man's always been one of my favorite superheroes, so I thought that they did a very good job with that movie with Doctor Octopus and everything. Yeah. We, I mean, we all agree on this one. Uh, yeah. yeah. That was a pretty easy uh, choice. The next matchup, this one's a little bit tougher. Uh, the eight seed, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, against uh, the nine seed, the Wolverine. So I'll go first on this one. Uh, this is close for me, but I think in the end I gotta take Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I I really did like Wolverine for like the first hour and a half, and then I think in the end, like I didn't really like some of the choices they made. But uh, first, to talk about like what I did like. I mean, of course, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine is always great, and then it, it just felt so, like, different from all other, like, X-Men movies. It was so fresh and new, and, like, sometimes that works, like, in this movie, and sometimes that doesn't work, like, in Iron Man 3 uh, was so different, and I did not like that, but it didn't really feel like a Superman movie. It kind of felt like a, a just like a thriller, uh, like a, and I like that it was only Wolverine in the movie, because I feel like there aren't really any standalone movies anymore, because every... A Marvel movie that's a standalone movie has to have, like, a bunch of other side characters in it. Like, Winter Soldier had, like, Black Widow and Nick Fury, and then, like, Civil War had, like, everyone. <laughs> uh, I mean, which works for those movies, but, like, it's it's nice and fresh to have um, this, and it was, it was different. But I, I didn't like, uh, in the end, how he fought that, like, silver samurai dude. It, they tried to make it into a superhero movie, which is, like, what it really was different from 
for the most of the movie, I wish he would have just fought all those ninjas or samurai, or whatever, in that he ran by. And then there was also a twist that was kind of dumb that I didn't like, but I don't know. I I, I liked Amazing Spider-Man better, uh, at least. So, yeah. Jack, what do you think? Um, the yeah, I thought the Wolverine was a it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh. I did like how it was like solo, like it focused more on the Wolverine because like, I really liked the Wolverine. But um, also the the Amazing Spider-Man one, like I thought Andrew Garfield was a pretty good Spider-Man, and the first one was pretty good with uh, Doctor Croc as the villain. But the lizard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm gonna have to go with um, the Amazing Spider-Man one here, even though um, I I like I did like the Wolverine, but I thought it was a better overall movie. Yeah. Uh, so Amazing Spider-Man moves on. Uh, Tyler, you okay? <laughs> Alright. Uh, next matchup, a 5 seed X2 X-Men United against the 12 seed The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Tyler, how about you start us off with this one? Um, I definitely think X2 gets my vote. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the X-Men movies. X-Men are probably like some of my favorite superhero comics right after like Spider-Man because Spider-Man is awesome. But I really liked the way they did X2 and how it kind of showed how Wolverine tied into Stryker a little bit without giving away too much, so it left you kind of thinking about that, which I thought was really cool. And uh, I just, I thought the second Amazing, was this Amazing Spider-Man 2? Yeah, right? with the yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought that was really, I did, I did not like how they did that movie. I thought it could have been very good, but I thought they made Electro way too weird and the Green Goblin was not in it enough. And so I think they just didn't do the best job of making that movie, but I think X2 is one of, if not the one of the best uh, X-Men movies that they made. Yeah, I, I um, well, let's go to Jack. Oh, uh, yeah, m mine's definitely going to have to be X2 also. <laughs> um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, like, I don't know if it was just me, but, like, I really did not like the um, Green Goblin, this, like, the actor for him. Like, he was just, like, a weird dude, and, like, his hair kind of annoyed me. But, like, I, I thought X2 was, like, a great movie. Like, it was one of my favorite X-Men movies. And with like Stryker, and then it leads to the origins to show like how like why he like hated him or like how they knew each other. So um, yeah, I have to go with X two here. Yeah, I I also am going X two, but I actually did really like the Green Goblin. I think he was the one of the best parts of that movie. I just think that his story didn't really fit in with everything else that was going on in that movie. I feel like that should have been like a different movie, or maybe it shows up to the point where he is turning into the Green Goblin, and then. As a villain, he appears in the next movie, which didn't happen, but, like, I feel like that would have worked well. I think they um, definitely should have just, like, not done Electro at all and put yeah. Green Goblin in it, because Electro was yeah. just, he honestly creeped me out. He was just very weird. And, and Green Goblin him. was only in it for, like, what, 20 minutes, like, the last part. He, like, yeah. wasn't even Green Goblin for yeah. most of it. He was actually only like Green Goblin for, like, 10 minutes, like, yeah. maybe. Uh, yeah, and I like that they stayed true to the comic books, and spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, go ahead, like, 15 seconds. I like that they... Did stay true to it and killed Gwen Stacy, but yeah. I feel like that story like just didn't fit in this movie. Like, if you want to do that, you put that at the beginning of a movie and then have him come back like when he where he fought Rhino at the end. Like, okay, first of all, just make that make that a different villain, not Rhino, yeah, because and, he was awful. And they came with <laughs> like, guns, which is yeah. just stupid. Yeah. But then like put that like at, at like the beginning of the second act as Spider Man comes back and then as he's like coming back from the loss that he had. I feel like that would have worked much better, um, and it could have it could have worked so well. But they just Electro was bad, Rhino was bad. I didn't really like Andrew Garfield as much in this as I did in the other. Um, and I mean, I didn't like how they made it like a lot of the movie. I felt like it was more of like a drama between him and Gwen Stacy too. Yeah, that was most of it. There was like a lot of non-action like parts. It was a yeah, lot of true. just him like trying to figure out where his dad was and, like, the true story beyond that, which yeah. I thought was kind of cool. Okay, well, the, the opening scene where his dad is on the plane, yeah, like, that, that was, was cool. awesome. Like, yeah. I thought it was really yeah. cool how they added all that dad stuff into there, and I think that would have been cool to have in there, but they focused on, like, that and him and Gwen Stacy, I thought, way too much. Yeah, well, like, I think what the, um, the other, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies do well is, um, they blend, like, the action and the, like, Spider-Man-Mary Jane yeah, relationship exactly. really well. And, yeah, I agree with you. They didn't do that very well in no, this. No, it was, like, way too much focus on Gwen Stacy and her moving to England. It was interesting, the, like, how um, they, like, brought his, like, family into it. Because, like, we never yeah. saw that in the yeah, Tobey Maguire ones. I like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on. Our next matchup. X-Men First Class, the 4 seed against the 13 seed Daredevil. 
Uh, Jack, you want to start again? Yeah. I'll start <laughs> uh, we were talking about this earlier and how Daredevil might be one of the worst Marvel movies ever made. But yeah, this one's easily first class for me. Um, I really like the uh, the movie a lot, and like they introduce like new X Men characters like Banshee and stuff like that. And like a really funny part in it was when like Magneto and Charles like met. The Wolverine was in there for like ten seconds, yeah. and he just like just like f off. That shows, yeah, that shows yeah. the Wolverine's personality perfectly though. That was yeah, hilarious. that was really funny. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go with first class here. Yeah, I mean. I First Class is definitely going to take this for me. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies on this list, so I want to talk about that more later. But uh, Daredevil is awful. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's the seesaw scene with him and Elektra. Yeah, I mean, even if you haven't seen it, just hearing the word seesaw scene, you got to know that's <laughs> awful. And then I, I kind of liked, uh, what's his name, John Favreau as Foggy Nelson. Uh, like his his uh, lawyer partner. But, yeah. um, but I mean, that doesn't save... It, the movie from being terrible because Bullseye was just awful. I hated Elektra. Uh, it, it's just a bad movie all around. It's boring. And th they show the action like from Daredevil's perspective where it's like it, it's like all jumpy and uh, you can only see stuff like through his senses when like rain goes down because yeah. he's like blind so he like sees through his like radar sense. Like I, I get that he sees like that but like I'm not blind. I want to watch the action. I don't want to watch from his perspective. So, I did, I hated it. I it was a terrible experience watching. The, the that one movie. like decent part was the fight with Kingpin. I thought yeah. Kingpin was like a pretty good actor for him. Yeah, like, he, he was. was a huge dude. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that movie in forever, and the only part I remember is him killing an old lady with like a peanut, which is just <laughs> yep. like a stupid yeah. thing to do. Yeah. So what would you go though? Like, X first yeah, class or first class? class? First class was a okay. very good movie. Yeah. I'm it was a very good like prequel to the rest of the X-Men. Oh yeah, definitely. And the, the, the him like, or Magneto like, finding his like, dad's killer. Or, like, yeah, yeah. And I, oh, like how, yeah. I like how Magneto like, it shows how he became so powerful because he was like, mm -hmm. kind of weak at first. Yeah, yeah. and with the coin. Like, yeah, and he learned how to use like, oh um, his yeah. like, emotions and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love First Class. I want to I talk about some of that more on yeah. later. Um, or more later on then. Uh, next matchup, the two seed X Men: Days of Future Past against the fifteen seed Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer. Uh, I'll start this one off. I mean, or actually, yeah, I'll start this one off. It's definitely Days of Future Past. I mean, this is uh, very easy. Days of Future Past was an excellent movie, blending the old X Men cast and the new X Men cast, and Fantastic Four: The Silver Surfer makes Galactus a cloud. So <laughs> that's, I think, is enough to be said about why that movie sucks, even though there's a lot of other reasons. Tyler, what do you think? I'm definitely going to have to go with um, Days of Future Past. Days of Future Past is probably my favorite X-Men out of all of them. I just really liked how they showed all the different perspectives, and again, it like had Wolverine as one of the main characters in it, and he's, like, he's awesome, which I thought was really cool. And I just liked how they showed, like, Spoiler alert, skip ahead a little bit, but I thought it was really cool how they showed, like, uh, Jean Grey alive again at the end with Cyclops oh, yeah. and everything, because he, like, changed the future, and how Professor X said in there, like, yeah, um, we have a lot to talk about, which I just thought was really cool how they set all that up, too, so I thought Days of Future Past was, like, a great movie, and like you said, Galactus being a cloud really made <laughs> me mad, I didn't even realize that was Galactus till like, a couple of days ago when, when we were yeah. talking about it, but, like, that made me so angry. Yeah. Jack. Um, yeah, for me, Days of Future Past is easy. But um, did you guys like the Silver Surfer in the movie? I, I mean, I, like, I thought like the him. Silver Surf Surfer was cool in it, yeah. but I didn't like a lot of, like, the Galactus whole storyline was really weird. Yeah, the Galactus part was, like, very weird, but um, Days of Future Past I thought was so good. And, like, that the end when you're talking about Jean Grey and Cyclops, how, like, the Wolverine says, like, yeah. I hate you as Cyclops. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I still hate you. <laughs> But, and then Magneto, like, with the baseball stadium, like, that was... That like, was amazing. amazing. That, that was so cool. Yeah. I love any of the, the period piece ones they've done so far, like, First Class and Days of Future yeah. Past that go back in time. I think that's awesome. And I yeah. thought it was really cool how, like, it just period. showed how Magneto was, like, so powerful again. Yeah. Like, yeah. How he's, like, also really smart, and he just does not care about human life at all. Yeah. And uh, how, like, Wolverine had to... Or, like, Charles told him, like, I'm, I was a different man back then, and he had to, yeah, like, convince Yeah, that was, that was really it. cool, too. Yeah. I liked how they had to, like, convince Charles to pretty much stuck doing meth and start yeah, using his I mean, powers they, again. They deal with, like, serious issues. Like Yeah, like, that like, was really, I thought that was really cool. I kind of forgot about that, that they had to, like, re 
get him to oh, raise his power. Oh, and was that the first movie where Quicksilver was, like, added in? With Quicksilver? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he that's was. Yeah. I forgot. Awesome. He, yeah, that was really cool, too. And it, I, I wish he was in that a little bit more, though. Yeah, I, I really like that character. Uh, yeah, well, he's going to be in Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That'll be kind of sweet. And then, oh, oh shoot, I forget. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that. Oh, yeah, Peter Dinklage is awesome. You, you know who that is, the, the little person? Oh, oh, he was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's, he's such a great actor. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, love him in Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I liked how they added that whole thing. That was really cool mm-hmm. with all the sentinels mm-hmm. and everything. I think that's what they were called, right? Sentinels. Yeah, that and another really cool. another great performance by Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, yeah, she was, she's great in these movies. Mystique yeah. is so cool. I, she's she's a sweet mutant. She can do yeah. all, I, I actually, they they used her really well in that movie. Yeah. Do we want to move on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next matchup. The seven seed X Men against the ten seed Spider Man three. Uh, Tyler, you go. Oh man, this is a hard one for me. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go Spider Man three, just because. I mean, X Men was a great movie, I thought, but it. I thought it just like. It it was a good movie and all, but it just set up. It had to set up everything for like the next oncoming movies, yeah. which was good. But like there wasn't enough like actual real things going on. It just had to set up a lot of things, and Wolverine was just starting to be a part of it. But I thought. It, it was still a good movie, but Spider-Man 3 was also very good, and just everything that happens with that, with the Green Goblin reappearing, um, Sandman was pretty good in it, and Venom, Venom, which, who was like one of my favorite villains of all time, other than like the Joker, was in it. Which but was, you liked him in that movie, though? I mean, like I thought it was kind of weird how they did it, but like just him being in it made me very happy, but they didn't do it very well, but I still like... That movie, I think more. I think than he looked movie. good. I, th- I think he like, looked really yeah. cool, but, but they. I didn't like how they made his character really. Yeah. And th- I think they, they kind of blended all the he- the villains together too much. There was just a lot going on, but I still thought it was a good movie. Yeah, uh, Jack. Um, for this one, it's, it's kind of hard for me because uh, yeah, the like X Men like they set it up and like every, how like um, Magneto and like Charles like that like, scene where. They were like I forgot where like Magneto was. He was like in the uh, beginning. Me, yeah, like, eating. Yeah, that's at like that conference about yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. and then Spider Man Three. I like I didn't like Venom that much too. But like, he's such a sweet villain. But like the way they did it, yeah, I didn't like that. The like, way they did it, was kind of weak. Did you guys like Sandman? I like, like I did it actually. I kind of I kind of liked the story and everything and how they did that. But yeah, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Sandman. But uh, for this one. I, I think I'm gonna have to go with um, X Men just because like I I like that movie or like I like the X Men movie so much and like it was like the f- very first one so when I uh, saw that one I was like like I really started liking the like X Men series. But yeah, what about you? Yeah, I mean it's it's a close one for me too. I know a lot of people really don't like Spider Man three just because like they don't like that like emo goth Spider-Man when oh, he's yeah, like I forgot there. about all that the yeah. suit on him but like that doesn't ruin the movie for me that's like a small part of the movie and I think uh, besides that the movie's really good but it's still X-Men for me I'm gonna vote X-Men um, honestly after hearing about the emo part I think I'm gonna have to switch <laughs> that I kind of forgot about that I mean it doesn't ruin it for me either but it does kind of bug me I forgot about how they put all that in there we yeah. talked about that yeah. earlier but I just kind of forgot but I'm mean, yeah I'll have to switch to X-Men too I didn't really the emo okay. part was not in character of Spider-Man yeah, at I mean, all. Like, he's supposed to be, like, a happy guy, and that, I don't know, I, just, I didn't like that very much. Yeah, well, like, I get that, like, he was being controlled by the symbiote, sort of, or, like, that's, like, why he was like that, but I don't want to see my Spider-Man being exactly. a dick, because yeah. that's pretty much what he was. Yeah. And, but I, I do really like a lot about Spider-Man 3. Um, I, I think that it's, just like all the other Spider-Man movies, it has great action in it, that, yeah. and, um... Also, I, I did like the Sandman story because I really like it in the end when, like, he uh, apologizes to Spider-Man uh, yeah. after oh, Venom yeah, yeah, has yeah. died and Spider-Man forgives him, which is just so great to see, like, how he's matured throughout all three yeah. movies. But, like, when he originally tracked down the man who he thought had killed uh, Uncle Ben, that guy fell to his death, and Spider-Man was happy about that. Yeah. And then, uh, just earlier in the movie, he thought he had killed Sandman, and he went and told um, Aunt May, and he was like, I thought you'd be happy that he's dead. And, like, Aunt May was like, oh, that that's never a good thing, even if he was a bad yeah. person. But then, in the end, he really does uh, say, I forgive you, and I think that's a great moment. And it just and, shows, like, the superhero way, too, which yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah, I really like that. And then, um, I, I think that... James Franco was great in all of those movies, He's especially in this one. So, but it it's still X Men just because I think it did such a good job of 
introducing us into the world of of the X Men. It was really the first um, uh, good Marvel movie like ever made, I guess. It, w- it is kind of a older movie. I thought yeah, it was really yeah. Good, though. And I mean, it, like after the Batman movies ended in the '90s, like superhero movies kind of went away for like a while, yeah. or, or like people didn't really care about even the later ones. Mm-hmm. And this is really the one that like revamped the superhero genre, uh, X Men. And uh, I mean, I liked um, seeing like Wolverine and Rogue in Canada uh, for like at the beginning. I thought that was cool. Like, yeah, yeah, and that started the, off with a good relationship. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. It really like, set up their relationship that they have throughout all the other movies too. Yeah. And then Spider-Man 3 wasn't Gwen, like, first introduced. That's when, like, kind of... Yeah, Gwen was in that one. Was Gwen in that one? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. which is different because, like, in the comic books, like, it was, like, he was with Gwen until she died, and then he was with Mary Jane after after that. But then in this one, they sort of, like, had Mary Jane first, and then I was still Mm -hmm. with Mary Jane, but they showed Gwen I can't remember Gwen in that one at all. She was, uh... I mean, she was... He didn't, like, have a relationship with her. He just, like, saved her a couple times, and, like... Mary Jane was, like, jealous and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was just trying to get her jealous. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on. This is going to be an interesting one, uh, knowing you guys. Deadpool, the 6th seed versus the 11th seed, X-Men, The Last Stand. Uh, Jack, how about you start it? Um, this is a very tough one. I still haven't, like, made up my mind about it, but, um, The Last Stand was very... I thought The Last Stand was really good. Like, um, how, like, how I like the Phoenix and how, yeah. like, King Grey was brought into it. But, um, I don't know, I, I did really, I really liked Deadpool, I thought it was very funny, because, like, uh, he's just, like, a weird dude, and, like, yeah. the humor he had, which, sure who was the girl's name Deadpool. that he was with? Uh, uh, Vanessa. Yeah, yeah, she was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Um, I'm gonna have to go Deadpool here, just because, like, I, I liked it so much, and, uh, I really like Colossus, too, and how he was added into it. Yeah, and, like, he like some really funny moments. Yeah. And, and when he was, part. like, killing his creator, oh, yeah. and, like, Colossus <laughs> was trying to, like, stop him, and, and he still did it, like, he didn't oh, really yeah. care. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to go Deadpool. Yeah, it's Deadpool for me, too. Uh, sorry, Tyler, I know you <laughs> love Last Stand, but, uh, De- I mean, Deadpool is just so entertaining from the very beginning all the way through the credits. It's hilarious, and, um, I, I mean, I'll just mention one scene, like, when he's killing the guy with the Zamboni. He's like <laughs> laughing. He's like, you're gonna get killed by a zamboni. He's like laughing, and then he's like, hey, you see how in far away minutes? he? Yeah, in five minutes. Yeah, you see how far away he is now. Forward taking. Um, it's really funny, and I mean, I'm I'm sure most people who are watching this are probably so Deadpool. They know all about what I'm talking about. But I had some issues with The Last Stand. I thought it was a decent movie. Um, I didn't really notice like too many things that bothered me as I was watching it, but after I thought about it some, it kind of bothered me, um, and, like, even, even with those things, like, it was definitely my least favorite of the original X-Men trilogy, like, I just didn't find myself, like, as invested in the story as I was in the other two, and then, like, one of the things that bothered me is just Magneto seemed, like, so out of character, like, um, how he was just sending off those men to die at the end, he's pretty much, like, or he said, like, let the pawns go first, and, like, letting yeah. them die, but, like, he loves mutant kind, and he wouldn't do that, I, like, I didn't, I didn't like that, and then also, they killed Professor X, and brought him back at the end of the credits, and did not explain how he came back, I've heard that, like, I guess he put his consciousness in his comatose brother's body, or something, but, like, they didn't show any of that, and so... They're never going to explain it because they're in the different continuity now after Days of Future Past. And I, I think that they were, they're just, like, mad at Brett Ratner who directed that for killing him. And then, like, I bet I feel like that was, like, a last-minute thing. Like, we want Professor X back. Let's just keep him alive by the end of the credits. So, I don't know. I thought that was kind of dumb how they didn't explain any of that. But I, it was a, it was okay. I didn't hate it. I, I kind of enjoyed watching it. But there's a lot of things that bothered me. Yeah. But it's Deadpool for me. Tyler. This one was really hard for me, too. Like, I'm, I keep going back and forth between it because I kind of agree that it was out of character for Magneto to, like, kill off all those people. I, I, I like and don't like the part where Mystique, like, spoiler alert, turns back into, like, a human from that one yeah. shot. Yeah. I liked it because it was, like, it showed how he just hated humans and he just decided not to even care about Mystique anymore. But I didn't like it because, like, she was once a mutant, so I thought it was weird that he just completely abandoned her like that. Mm-hmm. But, um... I did really like just the Phoenix coming alive in Jean Grey. I thought it was really cool just because it showed how powerful she was. And, it, and then I really liked how they like, kind of showed the 
relationship between Wolverine and her more and more and how he really yeah. cared for her and it was so hard for him to spoil her to get and like kill her in the end um <coughs> Deadpool I thought was just hilarious it showed like Deadpool's personality in it so great and how he's just such a weird guy I wish they would have showed like the dual like personality and talking that he has in his head in the comics more because yeah. th- that I think that's really like funny in the comics but I really like both movies a lot and I'm still not completely decided which one I like more but obviously like Deadpool one for you guys so I guess I'll just have to go with that because I did really like that movie and how it showed his personality so well and after like researching Deadpool more and more after the movie like, the last couple of days I've been watching a lot of videos on it mm-hmm. like on Comic Story and, yeah. and if anyone's interested that's an amazing site definitely on, check it on out on YouTube it's got a lot of really cool videos on there like Deadpool killing the Marvel Universe is like the coolest thing ever and it makes me just yeah. love Deadpool and after like watching all those it made me really appreciate the Deadpool movie more so I think I'm gonna have to I originally told you before I really wanted Last Stand or, yeah. but I really liked the Deadpool movie after watching all that so I think I'm gonna have to go with that too I love when she takes his mask off in the end and he has Hugh Jackman's face cut out and stapled <laughs> in his own face <laughs> he like rips it off and I he really, has a staple yeah. stuck in his yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, and then I really liked um the Colossus part where yeah. he's like he like reaches back to punch and he hits Colossus like right in the balls yeah. and he's like dad yeah <laughs> <laughs> and also like okay with the last stand like there's so many of our favorite X-Men that like we didn't get to see in that movie because yeah. like yeah. Cyclops spoiler alert dies in the beginning and, and it then, doesn't even like show it really yeah. it yeah. kind of shows him starting to die mm-hmm. and then like and then I mean obviously Jean wasn't part of the team because of what was going on and with I, her, I didn't like how Beast was like kind of in it but kind of not like he's yeah. a politician for half of it like yeah, yeah that was heck weird. cares about that just have him be a, be a BA like yeah. he always is but like the, when Nightcrawler wasn't in it and I love yeah, yeah. Nightcrawler's yeah. by far one of my he favorite just, X-Men like he just wasn't there and that's where I liked X2 so much like me yeah. and Jack were talking about this earlier like Nightcrawler is like so cool and him and X2 is amazing like he's oh, like yeah. finally and that's, what, that's what made X-Men 2 one of my favorites just cause of that and cause of like the whole striker thing but yeah. He wasn't even in the third one, which is another reason why I like Deadpool probably a little bit better. But they, I like them both so much still. It's hard for me. I also like how, like, Colossus... Like, Colossus in, like, the, uh... Was it the last hand? Was, like, kind of like a human, and then he could, like, change into yeah. Like, yeah. You know, but this one, he was just, like, completely, like, Colossus, like, from the comics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. He was in, like, uh... He was in X2 for a little bit, and he was yeah. in that... He was in the last stand for a little bit, and in Days of Future Past. At the, he was, like, in the future, um... Like, when they were fighting the Sentinels, I mm-hmm. thought the stuff with him in that was pretty cool. But, yeah, I mean, definitely the best Colossus we've gotten was in Deadpool. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, we got to move on. The last first-round matchup, uh, Spider-Man from 2002 with Tobey Maguire, the three-seed, against the 14-seed X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, let's see who's going first this time. Should be uh, me. Well, I haven't seen X Men Origins Wolverine, so, but I think I know where both you guys are going. So, uh, Tyler, where are you going with this one? I honestly like this one's really hard for me again, just because Origins is like I really liked how they set up Wolverine in that one, and they like tied together X Two with it, with uh, showing Striker again, like as a young, like a little bit younger, and tying all that together, and how they and it shows how like Wolverine lost his memory, which was really cool. And it showed like that, and I thought him and Sabretooth together in the beginning, showing them as brothers, like when they were younger, was really cool. And I just liked how they developed that whole relationship. But then I really liked, like, Green Goblin's one of my favorite villains. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but like, I thought I, I really liked how they did that in the first one, also. Um, so this, this one's hard for me, too, but I think I'm gonna have to go with, I think I'm gonna have to go Spider Man just because. X Men Origins was more of just a setting up for like the other X Men because it, it was a really good movie, but again it was just more of a setup for the other ones. But I also really did like um who's the guy we were talking about Gambit Gambit was yeah, really cool oh, yeah. in that. Gosh, this one's really hard for me. I still think I'm gonna have to go with yeah. Spider Man in it just because it Spider Man's a, a, a still one of my favorite superheroes and him with Green Goblin was just amazing. So I think I'm gonna have to go with that still. Okay. Yeah, Jack. Um, I agree on the Spider Man, but I really did like Origins. Yeah, and this was really hard. One too. Yeah, and um, like how Wolverine and uh, Saber Two, how they were like brothers, and like our, uh, they like went through all the like war time. I like how they showed like the past with them. Oh yeah, I forgot about the war time. Yeah, those were cool. And then how like Striker like found them and 
like it, and Deadpool was also there. Like it was like yeah, I heard was, like oh. the Deadpool was like really weird though. They, like yeah, it, mouth shut. And, yeah, like, yeah, that was, he had all these weird powers. Yeah, he that. he had like a ton of powers and like I did like the scene where they were like fighting at the top of the like I don't, yeah, I don't I know. Yeah, I completely forgot that was Deadpool in yeah. that. They he, used Ryan Reynolds had, like, for it, didn't they? Yeah, 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 it was. yeah that's cool. I forgot he had like that. Uh, Cyclops power too, and like he had like a well, ton he, of different stuff. He ended stuff. up being um, pro- was it Project X or was it Mutant X? Yeah, it was some Mutant something like 13, that. Mutant something like that, where they yeah. like, combined all of them. Oh, I thought that was kind of weird. I didn't like that a whole lot. Yeah. I know he mentioned that in Deadpool because uh, the villain Francis was like. Uh, if you don't shut up, I'll sew your mouth shut. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then Deadpool's like, oh, you do not want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how you did X-Men. That is sweet. Yeah. yeah. I totally forgot about that. And um, the first Spider-Man is just like the original it's one. It's just that, such a classic. Yeah, you, just as a kid, like when you first watched that, you're like, like I love Spider-Man after yeah. this one. And, like It shows how he got, like, got his powers and stuff like that. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go with Spider-Man 1. They did a really good job of setting up his powers in that one. Mm-hmm. I didn't like how they did it in like, the Amazing Spider-Man quite as much. But oh, and in Origins, how they have like the blob, the blob scene. For, like, I or, didn't like blob that much. Yeah, I, like, I didn't either. But it, was it was still kind of, kind of a funny scene. Yeah, and Will I Am was in it. Will I Am. He was, I forgot what his name was. His character was kind of cool. I don't remember yeah. what his name was, but it was kind of cool. He yeah. died really easily, which yeah. kind of pissed me off or whatever. All right, so Spider-Man for both of you. Yeah, right? okay, good. I would have been very mad if Spider-Man <laughs> had lost in a round where I could not have voted. But uh, the next matchup, Tyler will go to you first this time. This is in the second round. No upsets so far. Yeah. Uh, the one seed, Spider-Man 2, against the eight seed, The Amazing Spider-Man. Tyler. Definitely going to feel Spider-Man 2 again. Just Doc off the classic character. And uh, I like. I think Tobey Maguire did a better performance than up. Andy or whatever Andrew Andrew Garfield. Garfield. I can yeah. never remember what his name is but yeah I think that he had a Toby Maguire had the better performance as Spider-Man and the Doc Ock is definitely was it, was it Amazing Spider-Man 2 you said? no two the, or one. the Amazing Spider-Man the first one okay, with, yeah, with the yeah. lizard Doc Ock is definitely a better villain than the lizard yeah and um, yeah I just I'm definitely up to go Spider-Man 2 since it, I mean it's obviously the one seed for a reason I thought it was a great movie it's definitely better than the Amazing Spider-Man yeah Jack yeah, I agree on the Spider-Man too. I just that's my probably my favorite Spider-Man movie out of all of them, and I did like the Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield, but like uh, Doctor Octopus was a better villain than the yeah. Lizard in this one. Yeah, I I didn't uh, I mean like both of the villains sort of like turn kind of good in the end of the movies. Yeah, like, I love in Spider-Man too how. Uh, Doc Ock has that, like, Darth Vader moment, sort of, like, in, in The Return of the Jedi, where he, like, turns and, um, like, saves uh, oh, yeah, them. Yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah, sort of, like, with Darth Vader and the Emperor. I thought that was great. And then, I mean, the train action sequence is just incredible. Yeah, in that was really too. cool. So, I, I did like uh, Amazing Spider-Man. I thought that they did the origin story right again. Yeah. Like, they, they did it right both times. And I, I liked Andrew Garfield a lot in the first one. Um... But, yeah, I mean, Spider-Man 2 is just so much better. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I wasn't putting down Andrew. Yeah. Garfield. It was good. I just really like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, these are two good movies, but Spider-Man 2 is just yeah. better, I think. They had a really good story plot in Spider-Man 2, I thought. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, okay. Anything else about that matchup? Or? Okay. So, Spider-Man 2 moves on. Uh, the next matchup is... X2, X-Men United versus X-Men First Class. Uh, Jack, how about you? That's a good matchup. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, I think I'm going to have to go with X2 still. Uh, just because of, like, how Stryker, like, and Wolverine, like, they first, like, showed that. And, um, I did like First Class too, though. It was such a good movie, but... I don't know, with Nightcrawler, yeah, especially Nightcrawler, like, first coming, like, I had no idea who he was at, at first when I first saw it, but... Um, he was really sweet in X2, so mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go with X2 on this one. Yeah, I, okay, well, I'm going first class, actually. Really? But, yeah, it's it's close for me. Oh, shoot, alright, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, first class is, like, almost my favorite movie on this entire thing, uh, which is the four seed, by the way, X2 is the five seed, yeah. um, so this one is close, but I love first class, um, I mean, there's... Like, this, the scene where, or, like, the sequence of scenes where Magneto is going around hunting down, like, the old Nazis, that that is just incredible. Yeah. And he's such a great uh, character. And, like, you see him, like, becoming the villain that we all know him as. 
in this movie, and that's probably my favorite part of the movie. But then I also love, um, I think it's just an incredible shot when he puts the coin through Kevin Bacon's head. Yeah. And it, it shows, like, the sideways shot of the coin going through his head, and then it switches to uh, Professor X's head, and it shows him, like, screaming, like, no! That, yeah, like, yeah. that is, like, I think the best, like, filmed scene in any of the X-Men movies. And Matthew Vaughn is, like, a great director. Uh, I, I know you love Kingsman, which he made that. Kingsman he made, um, movie. First Class also. So, yeah, it, it, was, it was a great movie. I love First Class. It's my favorite X-Men movie. And, it, I mean, x is good also. I love Nightcrawler. I love the the beginning with Nightcrawler where he's in the White House. I think yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. And then when you really get to meet him as a character, you realize, like, how uh, great he is and, um, like, how great of a uh, person he is. And, like, when he say he, like, sw- uh, I don't know what you call it, transports out of the ship yeah. to save Jean Grey mm-hmm. or Storm, whoever it was, I don't remember. I that was Jean Grey. Okay, that was sweet. So, um, I, I did really like that, but First Class is a, is a little bit better for me, so. Um, this one's really hard for me, too. I really enjoyed First Class, because I think it was one of the first X-Men that I really got into. It was like, the first one of the ones I really, truly, like, watched, because I don't know if I ever had watched a lot of the other ones until kind of recently. But I I think I'm going to have to go X2 still, just because of Nightcrawler, like Jack said, I thought was amazing in it. And honestly, if he wouldn't have shaved Jean Grey, like you said, there never even would have been a Final Stand 3, or the X-Men well, 3. Well, she, spoiler I mean, alert, yeah, died but anyways. Like, but whatever, <laughs> still. But um, I thought that, that X2 just did a really good job with Nightcrawler and the Striker. I thought the Striker storyline was just amazing. And how it like showed Wolverine still trying to figure because Wolverine always has been trying to figure out who he truly was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I thought that it sh- like him trying to hunt down his like past and how he kind of like broke away from everyone at the very end was really cool to like try to find Stryker and how he handled Stryker I thought was really cool. Um, it's it was hard though because the uh, first class I thought was a great movie though too because it finally showed how like Magneto became powerful and. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I think I'm still just not going to go with X2. I did like, though, how it showed Mystique picking a side in first class and how oh, yeah. and how it did all that, but I don't know. I think that X2 is better overall. I mean, I love seeing, like, uh, in first class, I love seeing Jennifer Lawrence and James McAvoy, like, growing up together. Yeah. yeah I, I loved all that, too. Yeah. And then, I mean, it. I'm disappointed it's not moving on because it is, like, really one of my favorite movies and yeah i i thought it was so good i loved the all the training sequences i thought it was really close but it yeah i don't know i might like change like all this like talk about first class again like and like i really like uh charles and magneto's like relationship yeah. like their like friendship together at yeah first, when they go out recruiting and they're yeah. like, in the strip club you see like they like, like love each <laughs> yeah. other like it's great i like how they teamed up though in x2 a little bit also like at the very end kind of how they like yeah. but then and again then magneto kind of betrays him and tries to like drive or, yeah, fly off. Um, there was, like, a couple, like, new characters in first, like, like Banshee. Oh, yeah, Banshee and, and Havoc. Like, Havoc, Like, like yeah, I didn't think cool. I could care about those characters, but, what, like, I did care about those characters because yeah. they, like, did that so right. And, like, that. that's part of why I love it so much because, like, I didn't know those characters that well, but then, like, I, I really love those characters now. And then... I didn't like um, the Beast a lot in, uh... First class though he was he was cool in Days of Future Past though yeah he was yeah, really okay, cool in Days of Future yeah. Past but like I thought that you know uh, first class he was just kind of like it showed he was way too like nerdy throughout it like he didn't he was like scared to be like the actual beast or whatever and yeah I don't think he actually even like turned into the blue like furry one until he does or, or like, like far like, into yeah, it yeah, yeah. yeah like he like used that he like he, like didn't want to be right yeah like, he didn't like, want to do it and like, he was trying to get Mystique to not be it the whole time yeah. and she yeah. pissed about that. I didn't like him in that that much, which is another reason why I had to pick X2, but I don't know. In uh, first class, it was also like the Cuban Missile Crisis, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was really cool how they, like, added that into it. Uh Yeah, I love any, as I said with the Future Past, I love any period piece that's a, that's also a super, I love any period piece that's also a superhero movie, like, set in the past. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was great, and I thought Kevin Bacon was a good villain, too. Uh, or Sebastian mm-hmm. Shaw, yeah. Anakin Skywalker, whatever you want to call him, because that <laughs> his name was Sebastian Shaw. That's the guy who oh, played yeah. Anakin in the original uh, in Return of the Jedi. But I, I thought, like, how they showed him, like, killing Magneto's mother. Like, you really hate him from the very beginning, and I think that was important. But I guess X2 is moving on, so. 
Uh, we we need to keep your... going. <laughs> I was like thinking of changing, but I'm just gonna keep my vote. All right, that's a tough one though, because that's like it's like a 51-49 vote for me. Cause I like both <laughs> oh, of those yeah. a lot. I think I said uh, he killed Magneto's father earlier, but I meant that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That means close. Um, all right, moving on. Next matchup, also uh, two X Men movies. We have the two seed X Men: Days of Future Past against the seven seed X Men. Uh, how about let's see, uh, Jack, you go ahead. or no, I'll take this one. You okay. get the last one. Yeah. Um, it's I'm gonna go Days of Future Past with uh for this one. I really like both of these movies, uh, but I feel like Days of Future Past just did an excellent job of, um, like showing really two stories that were going on and also like but like not getting you like confused or anything just like you were so invested in both of those stories and then it was great to see a lot of the original team back uh like seeing uh like kitty pride and uh Iceman. Um, yeah again i don't know if um they were in a lot of the other x-men but who like the the people who were setting up at the portals with each other? Like oh yeah, I don't think they were, but I don't, I don't even know who their the, names. Yeah, are. I don't even know. But that was kind of sweet. But those too. people yeah. were really cool. Yeah, and Colossus was with them too. Yeah. I thought mm-hmm. that was awesome. And then uh, also, I I loved. Um, I thought Jennifer Lawrence again. I I think I said this already. Was great in the movie, as well as Michael Fassbender. He's as in all in both movies has given an excellent performance as Magneto. I think I like him better than the uh, Ian McKellen Magneto, and. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they just did a great job of blending those two stories, and then also showing the relationship between Wolverine and Beast, which they developed yeah. in this movie, which I thought was awesome. So I'm, it's going to go uh, Days of Future Past for me. Although I do really like the original X-Men, but it it's a pretty easy decision still, mm. Days of Future Past. Tyler? I agree with you. Um, Days of Future Past, which is, I think that or X2 is definitely my favorite out of all of them. Um because the Beast, they did a really cool job of saying, like, when he first went to try to convince um, Charles to help him out. Yeah. And the Beast is like, who are you? And he's like, we're going to be great friends one day. And oh, then they yeah. kind of, like, showed them developing that relationship throughout it, which was really cool. And then it shows him at the very end again, like, seeing Beast and being, like, super happy about it. Yeah. And I just thought that that was all really cool. And um, I thought that just showing Magneto's complete, like, disrespect for like human life was just oh, yeah. awesome and how he like just would do anything for the um mutants yeah. I don't know, yeah, that's cool. mind fart but <laughs> and then um Quicksilver and Days of Future Past was awesome yeah. I don't know if they show him in any other X-Men movie so far haven't yet yeah. yeah so that was really cool but yeah X-Men just X-Men was a good movie like you said it just it was more of a setup movie than anything else so that's why that's good Days of Future Past yeah, this, this is an easy one for me, too. There's a future past. Uh, I, I liked it so much, like, when I uh, first saw that movie. And I, I did like X-Men, of course. Like, uh, how, like, Sabretooth was... Sabretooth was kind of sweet in X, the first X-Men, I thought. But he was just, like, a minor character, but... Yeah, I, um, didn't, like the, I didn't like him in that one very really? much. Really? I didn't either. I feel like they made him seem, like, really stupid. Yeah, like, he's, he's not like that in the comics. Did they even set him up as his brother, like, in... No, not, or, no, not really. But, um, yeah, there's a future pass is an easy one here. Yeah. Um, I, I like how, like, in the end with, uh, Mystique and, um, and Magneto, like, you really don't know what's gonna happen there, so I, I like yeah. how they build the suspense there. So, yep, Days of Future Pass moves on. The last second round matchup, uh, the six seed Deadpool against the three seed Spider-Man. Uh, Tyler, how about you? Um, oh, take man, this, one. this one's really hard for me again. Um... I think I'm gonna have to go Deadpool again, just because I, I'm really into like all of his storylines and the comics and everything, and it makes me really appreciate the Deadpool movie a lot. And I think it just did a really good job of setting him up. And there's just so many like funny scenes in it, along with like so many like good action points. And I thought the storyline was pretty good in it too. I don't know how you guys thought about that, but I really liked how they, that the main focus was him hunting down the person who did everything to him and. Yeah, I just thought that was really cool. And then he gives up wanting to be normal at the end so that he can just save the girl, which was yeah. awesome. And I liked how they had X-Men in it, too, because it's always been, yeah. like, a reoccurring thing in the Deadpool, like, storyline of him, like, going back and forth with being the X-Men and not being with yeah. them. Um, Spider-Man was a great movie, and I really liked the whole Green Goblin scene and everything. But, I don't know, I just really liked Deadpool, and I'm going to have to go with Deadpool. Jack? Um, for this one... I think I'm gonna have to go with Deadpool too. It's just just because of uh, 
how much I, how much I like it. Just like it was like so funny and like I just really liked it. The is pretty, I thought comics. it combined the action and like the funniness perfectly. Yeah, it combined it well. And um, again, like Colossus in it. That sounds so sweet to bring him in. And who was the girl in it? I forgot. Vanessa. Or, or Nexus, like Nexus, the uh, Nexus, oh yeah, I yeah, yeah, when yeah. The, she was sweet. When like she first shows up, or whoever it is that first shows up, and uh, Deb goes, "I call Dong" or something. Like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I call Wang. Yeah. I call Wang. Yeah. That was hilarious. So, or, you mean yeah, the big, the big girl. Yeah, one of the yeah. I think it's the big girl shows up and like, "I call Wang," and then they like <laughs> fight at the end. It's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I kind of hate you guys right now because I love <laughs> Spider-Man, the first one. It, that's a hard one for me. I haven't honestly seen the first Spider-Man in forever, but I just loved the Deadpool movie. Yeah, I mean, it's good, but, like, it doesn't compare for me. Spider-Man is, I think, the best movie on this list. One of the greatest comic book movies of all time. It is, like, a perfect superhero movie. Like, the way that they tell his origin and then set up him and uh, Green Goblin as, like, these polar opposites who both have just f found these new powers and... Spider-Man wants to use it to help the city, and um, Green Goblin wants to use it for power and destruction. And they have like that scene where uh, Green Goblin like tries to get him to join him, and he thinks about, and he's like, think about it. And then um, you know, obviously Spider-Man doesn't. And then there's like four or five different like confrontations between Green Goblin and Spider-Man, and the action is incredible for a movie that came out in 2002. It holds up today uh, perfectly. And, uh, even though, like, they don't have the web shooters, like, he just had, uh, like, it was just one of his powers, like, yeah. it, it doesn't really, like, affect, like, the enjoyment of the movie, like, some of the best... I kind of like that better. I never really liked the web shooters as much as I liked it, yeah. it just kind of, like, happened before. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it works, like, for the advancement of the story. And yeah. Then, and then they blend, like, humor and, like, uh, like, seriousness and action and, like, there's, like, it's kind of dark, too, at, at parts, yeah. but, like, they blend it all so well, uh... I love the, the wrestling scene where he fights Randy Savage, who mm -hmm. in this movie is known as Bonesaw. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that scene. It's so funny. And, uh, like, when he's being taunted by all those uh, chicks who, yeah. when he walks down onto the stage and then has the Bruce Campbell cameo. Can we talk about the, the web shooters again? I've always been confused about that because, like, Spider Man was one of the first, like, comic book movies I've ever really seen. And he had didn't have the web yeah, shooters. Yeah, but in the comic books, he do, does have the web How do they shooters. use, the, like, what is the deal with the web shooters? Does he, like, produce the yeah, silk or something? Yeah, he makes it himself. So he, like, produces the silk and then he, like, puts them in the web shooters yeah. or something? Yeah, right. he built it, yeah. I never really knew about that. But, yeah, I mean, Spider-Man, I'm I'm disappointed it's not moving I, on. But. I think I have to switch after, you're like, all you say. Honestly, like... Because, like, at, for, like, movie, like, because like, we're talking about, like, who's a better movie, I think, in general, I think Spider-Man is a better movie. But, like... Like, I enjoyed Deadpool, like, so much that I think, like, I'd want to put it over, but it's, like, it's a better movie. I, I have to switch. Oh, you are? Yeah. Looking back on, like, the origins of the Spider-Man, I kind of forgot about how they, like, set it up all in that, and then, um, shoot, what was the other point I wanted to make? I can't remember, but it was, like, I loved how when he was first trying to figure out his powers, and he's, like, sitting on top of the yeah. top. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, that's like, so funny. He's making yeah. up all, like, the different signs, yeah. and then... I go with yeah. yeah, he's like, go <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, so trying to, funny. he's trying to figure it out, and then he's, um... Then when Uncle Ben, like, dies, it was, like, such... They put they did that scene so well. Yeah. Did they even show it in The Amazing Spider-Man? Yeah, they did. It was it was done differently. It was, like... It was, it was like, someone who's robbing, like, a convenience store that he let go, and then... He, like, shot him on the street, like, and Spider-Man was, like, standing right there. Like, Peter was, like, he, like, could see when really? it happened. So yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah, honest, I'm with Jack. Like, you, we are doing more of a, the better movie perspective. And I think Spider-Man was probably made better. Deadpool's Origins, I didn't think were that wasn't that well in this one. Yeah. It was, like, it was coolly done, but it, like, I think the story, Uncle Ben dying is, like, such a classic moment of, like, in all of Spider-Man. Yeah. And, like, the classic phrase, um... I don't know why. With great power from yeah, great like that's like such a good yeah. line, and they use it so well in that. That I think I'm gonna have to switch also. What you said about like the action in 2002. That yeah, was, that, like, that, that, was, that made me like think about it too, because the so action good. in Deadpool was kind of cool, but it was also just very like Deadpool just destroyed everyone. Like, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. even like a chance, but like in um, Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, it was like a very well set up. Or when um when like Spider-Man does like the, like glass scene against the Green Goblin when yeah. he like does the flip. Like, yes, that dude. is so sweet. And then, um... I really liked how they had, like, spoiler alert, like, it was almost like the Green Goblin accidentally died. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, how his own thing impaled him or whatever was really sad. But... Yeah, and I, uh, there's the scene where, uh, 
he like starts the fire, Green Goblin does, and Spider Man like breaks in to save what he thinks is a woman yelling for help, mm-hmm. but it's actually yeah. a Green Goblin. I forgot about that. Throws, throws, really cool. He throws all the uh, all the like uh, I don't know what they're called, the spinny like blade. Yeah, things. I forgot what those. Are and Spider Man like jumps and dodges oh, all yeah, of them. Yeah. That's awesome. That, and then, I forgot about that scene. That yeah, scene was so cool. Yeah, and in the scene you were talking about where he flips and the thing kills him, uh, like you were saying. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, flips. Yeah. Uh, also, that scene has him, uh, Green Goblin, throwing the bomb by his head, and it does the slow motion where he turns and sees the bomb, and it blows up yeah. his face, and then he, his face is all damaged. Yeah. I think that's awesome. And then they redid that in Spider-Man 3, where Peter, when he was being a dick, threw that um, yeah, Harry, Harry, and it did, his face got messed up. And yeah. I, I thought that was great. So, wow, this is unprecedented. You guys both uh, switched your vote. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I totally forgot about a lot of the scenes. Like, yeah, just talking about the movie. That scene with the fake... Girl in the fire. I thought it was um, like that, that scene just shows how, like, cool Green Goblin was and how he was. He was kind of a weirdo, but he like he like, did yeah. some pretty weird things. But he was just such a good character. Yeah, I mean, it, it shows like how uh, he like we see him before he becomes a Green Goblin and we really care about him, and then he uh, descends into madness sort of with the um, yeah. That's why he's like, such a, such a cool character too. Yeah. Like the the ma- I think the madness like characteristic makes superheroes so cool because like. Mm-hmm. That's why Joker is like so amazing. It's just because he's oh, yeah. just crazy, and Green Goblin is a little bit dulled down in version of that kind of like he's kind of just mad, but he's he, I think he's a really cool character yeah. also. Yeah. Did uh Mary? When did Mary Jane find out that he was Spider Man? That was, was at the end of Spider Man Two. Oh, because it was the he's end fighting of Doc Ock and his mask comes off and she's yeah, there yeah. and she sees him. So yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. That's the last one in the second round so we're moving on to the semifinals this is a very long episode but yeah. we're having fun this is a good time <laughs> so uh we got the one seed spider-man 2 against the five seed x2 x-men united uh, uh shoot, who's, who went last? don't uh, make me go first Jack, 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 <laughs> go. so this was spider-man spider-man versus... 2 versus x2 x-men united oh okay um ah uh, this this is a good one. so both the second ones from each yeah. series uh Spider-Man had like Doctor Octopus and like that movie was so great and then this like second um, X-Men one that I really like too with like Nightcrawler and everyone. Um, I'm gonna have to go with uh, uh, X2 here, okay. just because I like I like the X-Men movie so much, and even though like that Spider-Man movie is so good, um, like the just the way like X2 with like the Wolverine like in- like with Striker and mm-hmm. everything like. Like, I just thought it was so... And, like, how he, like, how he killed Striker was kind of, like, that was, like, brutal. Like, yeah. he tied him up to the thing. Well, the, yeah. he tied him up, and then Magneto came back and yeah, killed him, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this is a really tough one, but... Uh, I think I got to do Spider-Man 2, but it's really close. Yeah. Um, I just I just think Doc Ock was done so well as a villain. And, I mean, X2 is great, um... But Spider-Man 2 is just, like, the classic, you know. Um, it's not as good as the first one, I don't think. I know you said you like it better, but I, I yeah. like the first one a little bit better. But I still, uh, I think they do a great job of showing uh, how Peter Parker goes through, like, the struggles of his daily life, like, as being Spider-Man, because, like, he can't always be there with Mary Jane, and, like, that, that shows, like, it shows how he deals with all that trouble, and that's, like, a very important part of the Spider-Man comic books, yeah. at least the early runs when he was in, like, high school and college, so... I think it was good uh, showing that, and then uh, it was the first one where we saw Dr. Kurt Connors. I thought he was pretty good, and then I thought Alfred Molina, who played um, Doc Ock, just did an excellent job. So it's close, but I gotta go Spider-Man too, Tyler. I think I'm gonna have to go X two. It's a really close one for me too, but um, like you said, it was um, Spider-Man battling with Mary Jane, like not always being able to be with Mary Jane, him like battling real life versus being Spider-Man. It was like such an important part of it, but then again, in like X two, Wolverine trying to f- like chase down his previous life was like has like always been a huge part of who Wolverine is because he like ha- doesn't have his memory, so he's always trying to search for like what happened, and that's like the main reason he joins the X Men is because Professor X promises him to like help mm-hmm. find his past, and then it shows this in this movie more with like, him at the beginning going to the lake and not seeing anything, and then again, going back and actually finding everything, and, and confronting Stryker, and doing all that. I thought that they did that really well, and it really showed, like, who Wolverine was even better, which was really cool, on top of, like, showing everything else, and 
Jean Grey at the end, and Nightcrawler. I thought they just combined all that so well. So and they like, showed uh, Striker's like son, like weird. Uh, oh yeah. Israel would have, would yeah, like, yeah. He was like son controlling uh, Professor X and yeah. trying to make him like yeah, use that, that machine that, to kill that part all was, like, the humans. Really weird. I thought that that was like yeah. that was a very unique kind of scene. It was very dark, and I yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go to X two after that. Yeah, I mean, there, there is a lot of great stuff in X2, so, I mean, I'm I'm okay with that, uh, making the upset there. So, the other semifinal, uh, the two-seed X-Men Days of Future Past against the three-seed Spider-Man. Hmm. Man, this is tough. Um, I think I'm starting this one. I mean, for all those reasons I just gave, I'm gonna have to go Spider-Man. These are, this is like my favorite and like my third favorite on here, with First Class being my second favorite. Um, I mean, we've talked about these movies a lot, but... Uh, after everything I said about Spider-Man, I think I gotta go Spider-Man. Tyler, you thinking? <laughs> yeah, you, you Jack wanna, you first. Go Jack. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, like all those points about Spider-Man was like very good. And like, remember the scene where he like, uh, when he like first kisses Mary Jane, and like when he like goes down on the web, and like he's like upside down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a classic. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Days of Future Past. Like everything about that movie was just so good. How they like went back in time. But, um, I think I agree with you on Spider-Man 1. I, I like, I, after, like, talking about it more, I think that might be my favorite one over Spider-Man 2. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna have to go with Spider-Man 1 here. Okay. What about you, Tyler? There's, like, so many things I forgot about in Spider-Man that, like, have came back during this. And, yeah. be, like, going into this, Days of Future Past is one of my favorite movies, like, ever. And then, but then, talking about, Sp like, Spider-Man was, like, the movie I almost, like, grew up on. That was, like, my first, like, yeah. Spider-Man movie I truly watched. And I haven't seen it in, like, a very long time. And I probably should have rewatched it for this because <laughs> yeah. all those parts that you brought up were just amazing. So I, I think I'm going to have to go with Spider-Man also. Going into it, I thought I was going to have Future Pass going all the way. Yeah. But then we talked about Spider-Man more, and it was just such a good movie. Like, enough for you to even change my opinion on our last vote. And I just thought it was uh, really well done with the origin and the... It just showed like Green Goblin's madness so well and everything that he did. Days of Future Past was like so amazing, but I didn't like Colossus. I thought it could have been better. I didn't like yeah. him as the human and the thing. I liked him like always being metal. Well, he was in this one. I think he, he was always of, metal. You think of Last Stand? I think. Yeah, but I thought in, he in was. Days of Future Past, he was like jumping through those portals and like attacking that. I know, but guy. wasn't he like human and? Uh, he might have changed. I don't remember. I, I don't. I don't remember. I changed. Changed. Well, all right, then they must not have done a good enough job for me to remember. <laughs> okay. So. Either way, but I still I think I'm gonna have to go with Spider Man as well. Yeah, I mean this Spider Man wins this one, but uh, I mean I mean like from all of us, but it takes nothing away from Days of Future Past yeah, because that's an Past excellent amazing movie. movie. So um, yeah, this was a close one, but uh, Spider Man is gonna move on to the final. Uh, so we have X Two X Men United the five seed against Spider Man the three seed in our final uh, as our final matchup. So uh, Tyler. Yeah, how about you go first? Uh, like I said, Days of Future Past was originally my favorite, and since it got beat by Spider-Man, I'm gonna have to go Spider-Man again, even though X2 is like, X2 and, oh crap, this is really hard too, because <laughs> I thought X2 was amazing, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Spider-Man again, just because Spider-Man is probably my favorite. Spider-Man and Wolverine have always been like my two favorite um, superheroes, mm -hmm. so putting them against each other is really hard, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Spider-Man just because I thought they did such a good job with the Green Goblin, and he's such a cool villain. I think he's one of my, he's probably one of my favorite Marvel villains with Venom, because I thought Venom was really cool, too. Mm -hmm. And But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with Spider-Man, after okay. everything we talked about. Um, I think, after thinking about it, I think Spider-Man is going to win it all for me, too. Um, just, yeah, whatever, what you said, Tyler, about everything and, like, your points, I think it's just the best movie on here. It was like it was like made like really early, since uh, like X Men was two thousand and then like two thousand two like it was like one of the very first yeah, like, it was a movies. Yeah, years after. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Spider Man. It's just such a classic. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean X two. I love like uh, Striker. I mean, I think I thought the Striker storyline was so cool. But I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Spider Man is just hard to go against. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm not going against. It. I'm taking Spider Man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean. Striker, uh, I believe that that guy who plays Striker is the same guy who's in like one of the Bourne movies, and it's kind of mm -hmm. weird because like yes. Wolverine doesn't remember who he is, and Jason Bourne yeah, doesn't remember yeah. who he is. Cool. He kind of plays the same guy in both of those movies, and I mean, he's a pretty good actor, so I like that too. And um, yeah, you guys talked about how Wolverine killed him was pretty sweet. 
um, or how you like tied him up on that uh, plane mm-hmm. or helicopter, or whatever it was, and um, and then uh, Spider Man. I mean, I, it's just it's an excellent movie. Tobey Maguire for me is still the best Spider Man. I need to see more of the new Spider Man before I yeah decide, the but, Civil War. yeah the uh, the new Spider Man Civil War. I like him. I love yeah. him. Yeah. I I think he like. Because in the comics, Spider-Man always does a lot of trash talking, <laughs> and they really showed that in Civil War, which I thought was really cool. Because yeah. Tobey Maguire didn't do that that much. But, yeah. I mean, I still, I still, I'm really excited to see uh, X2. Like, Spider-Man was just such a classic, and growing up on that, it just made it seem like that was the right choice for me. Um, like Nightcrawler and X2 is so cool, but I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's very hard to go against Spider-Man. It's just like it almost set the precedent for what superhero movies should be more oh, yeah. of after uh, I don't remember what the first one you said was uh, the two, what was the other movie that came out before first X-Men, X-Men. The first yeah. X-Men yeah yeah but I think Spider-Man was more like a, it was a standalone like you said before yeah. too kind of and it just kind of set the pre- precedent for more superhero movies I thought well yeah I mean they've done so many origin stories right since then like if you look yeah. at Batman Begins Iron Man Captain America I think all of those are great movies and I don't know if they would have been as good if they hadn't like uh, taking things from what the first Spider-Man yeah. did, and um, yeah, I, I they just love... set up his origin so well in that mm, I yeah. thought, and Green Goblin's just amazing. So, and they set him up as like the awkward kid because that's what mm-hmm. Spider-Man is, and I think they did a much better job in this than they did in the Amazing Spider-Man because in that they kind of just had him like stutter a lot, and that was how they made him seem awkward. But in Spider-Man, the dialogue is so good. The like uh, whoever wrote David Kep, I think, is who wrote it. Uh, his script was great because um, the dialogue, like uh, with Spider-Man and Mary Jane, a lot is great. Like uh, she says, like don't make me look ugly. He's like, that's impossible. And then uh, <laughs> and then uh, she's like, or or he sees her in the city. He's like, hey, let's grab lunch some evening. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, I I mean, the one thing yeah. that like kind of bugs me about the Tobey Maguire character is like I feel like he didn't look young enough. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, that, like a that lot of said, yeah. like Spider Man is like was meant to be like very like it shows in Civil War. Yeah, he looks yeah. like insanely young, like which I really like. But I mean, Tobey Maguire still played the role so well. He just I just my only thing about Spider Man was that he didn't look quite young enough yeah. for me. Yeah. But uh, any, any well anything else on that matchup, Spider Man versus X Two? You guys? Um, no, nothing. I I don't know if I like regret my vote for first class about X X Two, but. Like I, I feel like if I saw like first class like like now I'd probably change my mind because like thinking back like that was such a good movie but yeah Spider Man would still win it for me I okay think. so we have a winner uh, Spider Man from two thousand two with Tobey Maguire directed by Sam Raimi the greatest Marvel movie made by Fox or Sony so uh, thank you to both of you guys for coming. Uh, I think this was an excellent show. It was a very long show. We were here <laughs> for an hour. First time that's happened. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and we, I think, came to a good decision. I'm, I'm happy with uh, our winner, at least. And uh, we're, what we're going to do now with these comic book movies, we had, uh, for the DC movies, that we had the best DC movie of all time was The Dark Knight, and the best in our brackets that we did in the past with these the Dark Knight one, and then in our MCU uh, bracket, Captain America the Winter Soldier one, and now in our Marvel, Fox, and Sony bracket, Spider-Man one. So I'm going to have three people come on, and one of them is going to argue for Dark Knight, one of them is going to argue for Winter Soldier, and one of them is going to argue for Spider-Man, and we're going to have it, we're going to have a true winner of what is the greatest comic book movie of all time after they argue I'll decide who um, who argued the best and who wins that because uh, I have a favorite of those, but that's not gonna factor into to that. So um, thanks for coming, guys. I think this is a great time, and thank you to all the viewers who have stuck around for an hour. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, I think it was a fun show, so mm-hmm. I think it would have been worth it for you. Um, anything you guys want to say? Anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Uh, oh no! Good. Just uh, thanks for having us on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Second time on movies from the client. Always a great time though. Yeah, I mean, I hope we can have you around more often because it's been too long. Yeah, yeah. both too. Yeah. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, thanks uh, to everyone for watching, and thank you to Jack. Thank you to Tyler. We'll have you guys back, and until next week, remember.
With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs>